Good morning. Today is today. <laughs> as far as I know, it's Friday. And I am just um, tired from all the week and, uh, and certain issues had to come up and not mentioning it because it's very painful and hurtful. Um, now, I wanted to say something about abortion. I am not an abortion person. I used to think that if you were raped, and this is the way I used to feel, is that if you were raped and you got pregnant, uh, that you should be able to abort the baby. Now, you got to remember that uh, every life does matter. Um, Time doesn't really matter. Time's irrelevant. However, life does matter, no matter how they come out or what, how they were born in the first place or how they were conceived. Um, because it's like this, you know, there's a lot of humans that comes here because of parents that um, abused their bodies and uh, they came out deformed, and, but some of them are because the doctors gave them certain medications that the babies come out all messed up. Now, for an example, I used to have a friend named Gail Hansen. Uh, back in the days, they used to give people medication to help them uh, not have morning sickness. And it was called morning sickness pills. And uh, she came out with one eye no limbs and no legs now if those people knew the baby was going to come out that way they might have aborted gail um however gail turned out to be a very special person she knew how to play the guitar i mean yeah the guitar she also knew how to play the piano you would not think that a person with no hands can play the piano she did. She played the piano. And what they did was they took one of her arm with no hand and they split it in half. So she had like lobster hand. Okay. And uh, she had no legs. This woman was one of the most courageous women I have ever, ever met. And uh, she had one false eye and one morning I was sleeping and I saw her over the faucet and uh, the sink and um, she was doing something and I didn't know what she was doing what she was doing was she was taking one of her false eyes out and washing it and putting it back in <laughs> and it kind of frightened me because I had no idea she had a false eye and I also didn't have any idea she had false legs. So one day I saw her going down the hallway. <laughs> and I was like, am I seeing things? And then uh, I was playing cards with some staff members. And they said, "What are you, what's the matter, Maria? And I go, I think I just saw a ghost <laughs> in yellow going dun, dun, down the hallway. She goes up. Uh, and the staff member goes, oh, that's just Gail. And I go, what do you mean that's just Gail? Oh, she has false legs. And so when she doesn't use false legs, she would travel back and forth with no legs. And uh, so, okay, deformities happens to people. And then some people think, oh, she's not worth living. Well, she was worth living. She was, like I said, one of the most kindest women and smart little women. <laughs> And, uh, so abortion to me is, no, I want to say this for real. Um, no. And a lot of, like I said, a lot of the children that come out is from defects from medications or rape or drug related. And a lot of people that come out from parents that are drug related parents some of them die in people's arms because 
they got here so messed up. And some of them live. And they're here to talk about it and how they survive. So if you believe in abortions, I'm sorry for you. And I'm sorry for a lot of people that do not believe that abortion should not be here. And, uh, and that I can say. My mom took abortion poison overseas. They had it a long, long time ago, way before here in America. And um, now they're trying to say, hey, let's get some abortion pills like you do get a pack of cigarettes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> now, babies did not create themselves. Okay? Man and woman did. So even if the baby, you know, came out all messed up, the babies are worth living. And I would say that to a certain person, he has experience with other people like that. They didn't come here to be like that. Okay? We all live here in a temporary life, in a temporary body. And uh, no matter how you come here, abortion should not be. My mother took a abortion poison, killed my sister. I was a twin, and I came out feet first. Remember that. And when you come out feet first, you know from everybody's experience that the baby was premature, and I was premature. Yes. So, okay, I'm here a living breath that you shouldn't abort children. I'm a survivor. Goodbye, and may your day be a good to you, as I hope it be good to me.